Well, I'm getting set up. I got my first customer. A vendor. His everyday carry knife. I've been working on it for about two or three minutes. Everybody's getting set up. I moved down. I used to be right there where those girls are for three years in a row. They moved me down one, one spot. They got more vendors this year. I'll show you more in a few minutes. I got a, uh, I got a really nice new uh, knife exchange program today. Every two weeks. I just bought these four knives these three and these three and these three and I replaced them about an hour ago on my way here there's a beater that's my leader Miss Lori so in two weeks I go back and pick up the brand new ones that I carried in and return these and get paid not a bad deal these are big old wide chef's knives that's what they wanted I didn't think you know most people want this type of chef knife, but they want them big wide ones. I had to go buy those, order them actually. I get back to you. My next exchange customer that I picked up yesterday is a pizza place. Every two weeks I have to give them two 10 inch chef's knives and two 20 inch pizza rockers. Every two weeks. I had to buy, this is a Dexter, which was a little more expensive than I wanted, but it's the only thing I could get right away, and this is an update. Uh, it's half the price of that one. That's life. Okay, here we go. Cast iron. Food truck. Dog treats, great, give treat love. These are the girls who was with us yesterday. This is a lady who sells olive oil. This may be Menino's. Yeah. So how did Saturday to go? Saturday, all right? Saturday yeah, was okay. Well, there's there is one lady. She's got got a policy of some sort. She made it. <laughs> Popsicle lady, setting up. I'm not sure what that is yet, or that. That might be a little early. A lip what? balm, soap, etc. Yeah, Mark, I don't know why she destroyed it. That's the leader's husband. <laughs> Oh, stop. I can make it. I can make it sharper, but I like to leave a little toothy for odd, for cutting odd things, you know. Oh yes, sir. Thank you very much. Huh? The garden man. That's the guy who was down from the end of us yesterday. Yeah. 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 What's this lady? Carrot, crunchy carrot, cold pressed juice. Oh, she was. She works. Uh, East, she works uh, 19th Street with me. Cross from me. How you doing? Hi. There we are. I didn't know if you're here or not. Yeah, long time no see. Yeah. It's been a whole. That's my buddy, the honey lady. She got her bees with her today. I don't know if you'll be able to see them or not, but they're in there, swarming around in there, making honey or whatever it is they make, some kind of way. Cool, huh? How you doing today? Good. Good. The wedge cheese ladies are here. That's right. Hey there. <laughs> what do we got here? New fine meats pendulum. Craft butchery. How you doing? Okay. He's a new guy. I have to go check him out. It looks like vegetables of some sort. There goes the neighborhood. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Not bad. Yourself. Okay. How you making out? Yeah. I got you. Clean snacking. Uh-huh. Ah, the grill is warming up. 
We'll have something to snack on here in a few minutes. Hey, girls. Hey. How are we doing today? It's two or three out there. Got to start somewhere. First customer. That's a big old Dexter. 10 inch chef's knife. Got a lot of little microchips along the blade. That's the biggest one right there. And one right there. And one right there. Okay. See ya. Oh, yeah, it's a nice knife. I got some myself. Thank you. See you in a few minutes. Okay. Second customer, Sean. 10 inch. Um, maybe 8 or 9. Ain't 10. But, as you know, I know you can't see them, but it's got, this one's got a lot of little chips, the whole length of the blade. Nothing, no major ones, just little teeny ones. Number three is Cathalons. And they're in terrible shape. Lost track of the customers. This is a Henkel International Santuco. Fabware and another Chef's International Hinkle and a lawnmower blade. Gone. All I got to sharpen them. And then I got some in the waiting. And another lawnmower blade. Well, I just shut my generator off while we for a little break. I don't know what time it is, but this place is hopping too. People everywhere. Look at them. They're thick as fleas on a dog. Klondike, Klondike of people. King's Grand Farmer's Market. Melita, I think Melita likes this stuff. I didn't think she's ever going to do it or even considered it, but she seems to like it. The kids, the kids got up a bumpy, jubi, what do you call that thing? They're having a good time over there. Look at them. One will stop. First pocket knife. Kershaw. Just got a weather alert on our phone. I don't think I like it. It's uh, looking rough right through here. I don't know what's going to come, but it says it's inbound. That'll blow my dress up and everybody else's dress up. 2015, maybe 16. The first year we had this market, we had I sat through the worst storm and I ever sat through in my whole life. It was so bad, so much lightning, it blowed the transformer up right there and right in front of us. Lightning hit it. It was so many sparks you would have thought it was the 4th of July. I'll get back to you. They're coming but they're not coming as fast as they were yesterday but I'm not complaining I'm taking it just as it goes I'm not rushed we got 45 minutes to go we've done about half of what we did yesterday I mean about a third Monaco okay see you later It's about 10 after everybody's packing up I got uh, I got everything that could get wet inside except for that everything else is jammed in here the generator all the sharpeners I need a truck stretcher look at this it's getting so bad you can't even believe it I don't know if I'll get home or not but I mean they call for this there ain't nothing new mother nature is trying to get us it's thundering like blazes in the background you can't hear it Okay, we see if we can get out of here in this crowd. I see lightning. Ooh, baby. Look at that lightning. We're getting ready to have a gully washer, I think. In the land of Nada.
Maybe it's Megan. Go in, Walker. String beans and what leaks? Yes. And sausage, you just. What's that foaming around in there with them? Well, I finally made the recliner. Let's see what time it is. 9.21. What are you barking at, Big Ol' Jack? The Indian's over there scratching. And you were right here. You better lay down and go to sleep, Big Ol' Jack. You big of you. Carnivore, what are you doing over there, carnivore? You watching them dogs? Where's your, oh, shut up. you so spoiled. I can't even play with it. Talk to the cat. You get jealous. Why are you like that? Huh, big old Jack? Uncaged red blend. I'm allowed one glass per day. Shut up. I like it. Tomorrow is a Friday day. I've got a big... I got to take those uh, knives I showed you at the first of the video to one of my exchange restaurants. Then I've got to meet a guy at his home about 20 miles from here and sharpen 20 some knives for him at his house. So I'll be busy at 1 o'clock. i got to be there exactly at 1, weather permitting. And that's all I know about right now. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'll take that back. The Mumbles man went to the land of Nada today and found a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a gold heap-like he piece of e earring. And I think that's all. He went with the gig master, Steve. Well, he didn't went, go with him, but he met him down there. And another guy was down there, but they didn't find anything. No no gold, I should say. I think I've got the pictures. I'll add them to the back. The Mumbles man in the land of Nada. My son is here. He's going home. My leader. My sharpening leader. Okay. See you tomorrow. Someplace.